It's getting cold now, it's getting cold in this bloody garage, that's what it is. I was shocked when I came in here this morning. I turned about when I got a cup of tea. But it's a little bit warmer now, so I'm gonna have another stab at it. The garage. Last couple of weeks have been busy with family stuff, so we were up in Yorkshire the week before last, we were up in Manchester the week about last week, which was particularly messy. Pictures up there. Um, but this weekend we're at home, so we've basically got as much as we can done or needed to yesterday, and that leaves me about a couple of hours today. Um, I'm hoping to get quite a lot done, but I have quite a lot to do. So, things that I'm looking to do I've got a sprocket, I've got the two. Uh, I've got two sprockets, I've got the front and the rear, I brought those, I've also brought the new nut for it, also the holding washer for it, I've also brought new bolts um, for the rear disc brake, so I've got those on there, they say if you're going to take it off you're going to have to replace that, I don't know why I've just dropped, I've just dropped something, I'll pick it up in a minute, um, so I've done that, I've also got a uh, new rear shock absorber, finally came from America, which was, which was lovely, can't get them for like wooden rocking all shit in this country, but there are loads of them in the States. Um, this is a 2013 model. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the Yamaha diversions all the way up. So from, I think it's, I'm going to say it's 92 to uh, 2009 was the XJ600 diversions. 2009 to 2015 or current is um, the XJ6. So they, they changed the name slightly, but the shock absorbers, they, they go all the way through. Um, so they were going to charge me £161 to recondition the, the 1992 version. And I thought, to be honest, these are much stiffer than the other ones. These are much stiffer. Uh, they give you a much stiffer ride on these. And considering that I'm changing the front end, the, the rear ones, the 1992 versions, they were all, all the original shock absorbers were always a bit squidgy. Um, and because I'm stiffening up the front, I want to stiffen up the rear as well. Otherwise, there's a slight imbalance. So I'm um, hopefully the stiffer unit there will, will firm up the rear and that'll be fine. That probably sounds bad, but you know what I mean. Um, so what else have I got? I've got the swing arm. So basically the idea today will be to put the swing arm in, we'll be put the shock in, to put the under tray in, um, put the sprockets on the wheel and put the sprockets on the front, put the rear wheel on, although it hasn't got a tyre I'm going to put the rear wheel on um, because to be honest there's so much lying around the workshop now, I just need room and I, if I start actually assembling the bike it takes it off the floor, it takes it off the top of cupboards and everything else so that is the plan. Um, let's crack on otherwise I'm going to lose me a couple of hours. Okay so installation of the swing arm is fairly easy you'll see that there is a, a kind of a shaped bolt on the top. It can only go in one way, because if you look at the bracket on the inside, it's actually got a cutout for it. Bearings have all been changed, so I don't need to do that. I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay guys, with a bit of banging that's gone on, uh, so the swing arm's now on, now for the shock absorber. Okay, so basically that's what I'm taking off, and that is what I'm going to replace it with. A little bit, a bit more, just a little bit more. Okay, so bolt lined up, come on. Do it. Let's knock it through. <laughs> These things are always comes down to the line up, I'm afraid. That's fifty six, which is sixty four. So this will be the bottom bolt done, it's 64, there you go.
got time to put the rear wheel, even though it has got a tyre on it, we're going to put the rear wheel on anyway. Um, at this point, I'm not going to put the ends in, I'm just going to slot the bar through. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, basically, I'm exactly where I want it to be by the end of the day. I didn't get the under tray in, but to be honest, that's probably, I want to take some photos of it at this point. So I need to put the rear brake on that. I don't know if I'm going to buy a new, I may buy a new to be honest. The only problem is if I buy a new, the bike is going to be worth more in parts than it actually is going to be assembled. That's always the risk. One of these bikes doesn't go for a lot of money, but it is what it is. Um, thoroughly enjoying it, learning a lot. Okay, so I shall say goodbye to you. You take it easy till the next episode. GTS Garage out. You have a lovely uh, rest of the weekend. Enjoy your week.